Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to defeat the Prodigy Puppet Master from Pippet to the boss battles to the Puppet Master himself. I'll be giving you guys all the tips and techniques to easily defeat the Puppet Master, so just go down below and subscribe, and let's head straight into it. Alrighty, so your first step in the process is battling Pippet. My only two tips for this battle is number one, don't miss questions, and number two, have in both of your pets. This is is the easiest battle I can almost guarantee there's almost no chance you lose this battle but like I said things do get very very difficult with the puppet master himself and some of the boss battles later so just get the pivot out of the way don't mess up Basically, like I said, yeah, just make sure you get your questions correct and put in pets. That's going to be my biggest advice for actually being able to beat the Pippet. So I'm just going to go through this battle very quick, show you guys that it is easy. I mean, it's literally got to be one of the easiest battles. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to use Clamp on the Pippet right there. Okay, boom. He resisted. It's fine. He only has 750 health. It is a very, very easy battle. Now, once we do get to some of the boss battles it is very very important on you know specific pets you put in if you're gonna use relics um, the order in which you do stuff it just gets a little bit more complicated and then of course the actual puppet master himself is probably the hardest battle prodigy has ever released it's extremely difficult I won't lie I've lost against him before but that's why I'm gonna be teaching you guys showing you guys what mistakes I made and showing you guys how to easily defeat him so okay guys as you can see, um, I don't know why my pet has disappeared down there. I have no clue. It must be glitching. <laughs> I really have no idea. Um, but we're, we're basically about to win this battle. The Pippet is about to get taken out. And, alright, yeah, 30 health. That's it. Here comes the enemy. As you can see, I haven't even lost a single one of my pets. And uh, we're about to take this guy out. It's seriously probably one of the easiest battles in all of Prodigy. I think I might actually take him out um, right here with this all-out attack. I don't want to talk too soon soon but I think I should be able to oh I do not get the all-out attack so we're just gonna go ahead and take out the pippet for good and boom just like that now of course he just has one pet left very very easy battle as I have said but um it will kind of prepare you for the next battles you do kind of want to get into the mindset getting ready for the next battles because those ones are not easy luckily I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to do them all right, so boom, got the last question correct. Hopefully, this probably should be the end of the battle right here if we're lucky. And wow, <laughs> what HP. Really, dude? Are you serious? Uh, whatever. Look, I said, it's all good. I have zero stress. We're just going to go ahead. I don't even need to use the all-out attack. We're just going to use Starbit. And boom. There you go. Like I said, extremely easy. Pippet is down. It's now time to head to the boss battles. And here's where things do get slightly more complicated. But don't worry. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do them. Okay, so... This is very, very key and very, very important. They're going to be showing you guys a bunch of scenes, a bunch of elements, and you do not want to click this circle until you make sure you have the correct stuff on. So as you can see, the hand is telling me, click on the circle, not yet. You have to make sure you have the correct pets selected. So we're going to be heading in to the very, very first boss battle, which means you need to change your pet. So, for the very, very first boss battle, you are going to be choosing Ice Pets. That is going to be very, very powerful against your very, very first boss, who you will see in a second. But trust me, you are going to want to go ahead and put in two Ice Pets. Now, as a bonus, if you have them, you can also put on the Ice Relic. This will make it super, super easy to win this battle. So boom, I've put on my pets, I've put on my Relic, let's head into the battle. Alrighty, so here we go. Here is our first boss battle, which is going to be the one, the only, Shadow Gerald. And you guys are going to see exactly why I told you guys to pick these pets and that Ice Relic. Because look, would you look at that? Here comes Shadowy Gerald, and it says weak 
to ice. That is exactly what we want to see. This battle is going to be super, super simple. So here we go. Spearsicles is going to be an ice spell. We're going to use it and we're probably going to do a bunch of damage. Basically did over 500 damage on our very first spell. Now, what other tips do I have for this second battle? Well, use the spells that are powerful. We chose ice pets for a reason, so don't be going and using a storm spell. Like, that makes literally no sense. You chose ice pets for a reason. Use those ice spells because they are going to do a bunch of damage to the boss. So here we go. Chill out. This is probably going to be an insane spell and 605 damage. As you guys can see, wait, hold on. Here's another thing, right? We are going to get a full health boost. Oh, wait, that actually does damage to Gerald. Wait, are we about to de literally defeat him right here? No way. Are we? Okay. He's only at... 500 health wait we might take him out right here i'm not even joking are we oh my god he's at 57 health and this battle has literally been like one minute i told you guys these tips are absolutely insane you are gonna be defeating these bosses just so quickly and it just makes everything so much easier so boom there you go first battle mark it off we are getting one step closer to the puppet master now as i told you guys before you head into that next battle resist the urge to click on that circle because we need to change our pets so i'm gonna give you guys the exact key for the second battle you need to use fire pets so i'm gonna choose the first pet as lava puck and why not let's just choose char Flaria. Now, like I said, if you happen to have it, you don't need to. I would recommend using a fire relic. That's just going to help out just a little bit more. And boom, once you have done that, let's head to the second boss battle. So the puppet master is going to come back. Of course, we tricked poor Gerald with my tips and with this method. You just win these battles so, so quickly. It's honestly just so much fun. Now, here comes the second boss, the shadow worm. And I do want to make it clear these battles do get harder and harder so as you go on make sure you guys are really really focusing if you want to beat of course the puppet master now the second battle you are going to have to verse a shield but don't worry it goes away after a few seconds i'm going to show you guys right now at first you may be a little scared because it's like wait how am i supposed to do damage to the shadow worm he's literally taking zero damage but make sure you get your questions correct, okay? Just because you're not doing any damage does not mean you get a free pass to miss your questions. Do not miss your questions. I don't think it breaks the bubble if you do. I'm not 100%, but you guys are going to see what I'm talking about here in a few seconds. So you're going to keep doing spells. It's not doing any damage at all. You're like, what the heck? How am I supposed to get rid of this ice worm? Well, like I said, you guys are going to see in a few seconds. Here comes Newt. A shield fully protects the worm from all damage. Here comes Bach to save the day. Like I showed you guys, don't be scared. And boom, the bubble is completely gone and you are ready to absolutely destroy this ice worm. Now, because we chose a fire relic, we get a fire spell with our wand, which means five 100 damage to the shadow worm just absolutely destroying him it's honestly too easy like beating these bosses is too easy when you use these tricks now the puppet master is a different story and i'm going to be telling you guys a bunch of ways to hopefully make it easier to beat him but like i said yeah using this these techniques on the boss battles is going to make it super easy so boom just use all the fire spells you can i would recommend the ones with the most power but as as you can see the ice worm's literally at 300 damage i haven't lost my wizard i haven't lost one of my pets i haven't even lost either of my pets to say that and um it is just absolutely amazing and so much fun to destroy these guys when you are using this method so boom here comes comet and oh 27 health oh my gosh this guy's getting a little <laughs> bit lucky but i am not worried at all we're basically gonna take him out with our very very next spell i'm just gonna use nip doesn't even matter which spell i use and boom 
took out the shadow worm so like i showed you guys that was the exact way to beat the shadow worm make sure you choose two fire pets that have a lot of health and of course use the fire relic now things are going to get a little bit harder but like i showed you guys if you take one thing from this video don't enter the battle yet of course we gotta switch our pets luckily i'm gonna tell you guys exactly what pets to use so for the third battle i want you guys to use water pets that is the key go ahead and choose two of your absolute best water pets for this example i am going to be using let's see i'm going to be using fathom and aqua marina and then of course as a little extra credit bonus you can actually go ahead and choose um a water relic i have the ancient one but it is not necessary for the boss battles for the puppet master we're going to be talking about that a little later but here comes the third boss battle and things do get slightly harder from here i just want to warn you guys it's not as easy things get progressively harder as you beat the bosses so keep following along make sure you guys are taking notes of all the tips i give you guys so you don't lose any of these battles okay so here comes the third battle and of course you are going to be facing shadow cell laboni now shadow cell laboni is a very very basic simple down battle no force field nothing to worry about he does have 3000 health though now if you do notice he's weak to water which is exactly why i told you guys to choose those water pets just makes the battle so <laughs> much easier it's actually crazy like if you didn't use these pets i bet you would actually lose some of these battles but because i'm telling you guys exactly how to beat each battle it just makes this whole process so so much easier and just wait until we get to the puppet master i have a bunch of tricks that are going to make it super super easy for you guys to win that battle but here we go i'm going to use aqua burst of course like i said if you have a water pet use water spells don't use some random spell that's not very smart just doesn't make any sense make sure using the spells that actually do damage now boom this is why a relic is very very advantageous we get the stream spell which is probably gonna do like oh my god 667 damage here comes we're gonna use down portal oh my gosh this might be the fastest battle yet we're actually about to take this guy out oh my gosh even using this tips i'm surprised about how easy this battle actually is so we're just gonna go ahead and um let's just go ahead and use flood with fathom not gonna be the best spell miss okay you're gonna have misses all you know you're gonna have misses um oh wait here's what's awesome you get a full health boost like using my tips you don't even need a health boost but that just gives you that extra security all right so i think we're actually gonna take out celeboni with literally this spell um i don't want to talk too soon but let's just see if we can do it with aqua burst please and okay 396 you cannot complain because we're taking him out with our wizard right here and this should not be a problem at all boom got it correct let's use the all-out attack just for fun just because we've absolutely destroyed every single battle so far and boom there you go we have taken him out we are getting extremely extremely close to the puppet master so focus in lock in make sure to pay attention because you do not want to miss out on these last two boss battles now like i said before you click it you guys probably know by now not to click it before you change your pets but here we go the next battle what pets do you use well if i'm gonna be honest it doesn't matter for this next battle but if you want to be extra extra safe i would recommend storm pets uh, you guys are gonna see in a second why it does not really matter but if you guys want to be extra careful um i guess you could put in storm pets just to show you guys i'm not even gonna use a relic for this battle it really does not matter but like i said if you want to be extra careful extra make sure you do not lose sure take all the precautions put in storm pets put in a storm relic but i just want to show you guys that you don't actually really need the relics for some of these um if you're a lower prodigy level i think you still have a good chance at defeating the puppet master um but i just wanted to show you guys you know you don't need every single item in the game you still have a chance at beating him so here we go 2000 health you guys are going to see why you don't really need that good of pets. It says, hold on a minute. During all my sailing, I have found use something that should provide useful here. 
ever wanted to cast the all-out attack right away? Well, now you can. This is exactly why. 2,000 health for the enemy, which is not a lot, and we are literally getting an all-out attack, I believe, right away. Um, we should be able to use it with our wizard, so just boom. Use your first pet. Use Storm if you have to. As you guys can see, like I said, it is weak to Storm, so that's why I did choose it. Um, here comes our next pet. We're going to go ahead and use Blowout. And then I think we should be able to use our all-out attack. And there it is. All-out attack. This is going to do an insane amount of damage, guys. And this is why, like I said, this battle is very, very easy. 600 damage. He's only down to 700. I mean, I actually bet I could win this battle without a single pet. I mean, boom. He took out our first pet. Who cares? Doesn't really matter. He's only at 700 health. Um, I would not recommend risking it and not using a pet. I'm just saying I would bet on being able to defeat him. But here we go. We're about to take this guy out, I think, with our next spell. And... Oh, 29 health. Okay. Please, unless he takes me out here. I'm joking. He's not taking me out. We're going to defeat him right here. So, yeah. Like I said, just to reiterate, um, if you guys want to be extra safe, make sure to use those storm pets. Again, I haven't really said it, but make sure you guys are getting your questions correct. You do not want to risk missing questions and somehow losing. But boom, if you use those correct pets for that battle, um, it's a very, very easy battle. Now, here comes the final boss battle before the Puppet Master himself, and this one is a doozy. This one is not easy at all, so I'm going to recommend two specific pets for you guys to use. I would just recommend you use them to make it as easy as possible. Now, you're going to want to use leaf pets, but I'm going to give you guys some specific recommendations on which pets I have found to be pretty, pretty good for this battle. Now, if you happen to have her, I would recommend Floor Fox. It is a pretty rare pet, so you guys may not have it. Some easier pets to get, I would recommend something like Batterbot, which seems pretty easy to get. Um, you, even using something like Shade, this would be a very, very good choice. Um, I would recommend Scully. All these pets are good recommendations. And then for this battle, I would 100% recommend choosing um, the plants, the powerful plants relic. That's just going to make things a little bit easier. But here we go. Let's head into our final of the boss battles before the Puppet Master himself. You guys are going to see why I kind of warned you guys just slightly about this battle. It is one of the more difficult boss battles. In fact, I would actually probably say it is the most difficult boss battle because what do you know what are we going to get we are going to have to deal with another force field guys i know it's very very annoying this battle looks easy because they only have a thousand five hundred health but there's a force field which is very very annoying but um just follow along like i said for the meantime get your questions correct doesn't really matter what spells you use when you're going against the force field because obviously it's gonna do zero damage but i like i said um you don't want to be missing these questions you want to do a little bit of damage to the force field itself you guys are going to see in a second how to actually get rid of the force fields but for now it is a little bit annoying but you're just unfortunately going to kind of have to push through this battle and just you know keep trying to attack this force field so i know it's very very annoying our pets are low you're probably getting a little bit nervous here comes broccolina not this cloud again i wonder if i can get rid of its shield broccolina comes in and doesn't destroy the shield at this point you're probably getting a little bit nervous because here comes the enemy you're getting very very low and guys don't worry we are gonna be saved just keep doing damage like boom one damage it's better than nothing i guess um but yeah keep pushing through we are about to get saved in just a second so don't worry so leaf burst boom wow i'm surprised my pet is actually getting a little bit low which is not the best um let's just use umbra why now that's against a force field doesn't really even matter i think this is where we get saved. Benny comes in and says, Broccolina, that's not how you do it. Don't you remember what Grams taught us? Check this out, champ. Absolutely clutch comes in and gets rid of the shields. Now, the only issue is that you may be very, very low at this point in the battle. So you cannot afford to miss any questions at all. 
use those leaf spells because you have a leaf relic you are going to do a bunch of damage and you just have to really really focus up because all of my pets are in the red range this is the only battle where we've been this close to actually getting taken out luckily with the pets i showed you guys exactly which ones to use you should be able to do a ton of damage and not have to worry too much about a possibility of losing so boom go ahead use leaf spiral and boom 534 we should be able to take this out unless he takes us out with this hit and okay took out one of my pets fortunately we have our wizard and our pet where we can use our all out attack and get ready to absolutely destroy him and boom just like that took him out fifth boss battle complete you know what time it is it's time for the puppet master but i have a lot to go over before the puppet master battle so make sure you pay attention closely now very important do not click into the battle yet especially for the puppet master because you need to change some things now there are a few important tips when choosing the pets you are going to use for the puppet master battle number one is avoid all physical pets some examples would be shiver tusk i would very very highly recommend you avoid i know pterosaur is good but for the puppet master battle i would personally avoid him he is physical Terramite, i would avoid i can go through this whole list trample avoid simply do not use a physical pet it's just the way it works don't use one they're not going to be powerful against the puppet master now what pets should you aim for when battling the puppet master i know some of you guys may not have all of the pets you are going to want to choose pets that have a lot of health power does not matter as much as health when it comes to these battles so boom luminex has 620 i'm going to show you guys exactly how i would pick one right now hot pot has 650 miss stember is one of my favorite ones to use for the battle because it has 740 health that's going to be the first pet we choose so just go through all your pets and try to find one that have at least over 700 health if you have any of the epics they're going to be insane like barbarian is going to make it super super easy but i want to give you guys an example of a pet that's not an epic in case you guys don't have them so i'm just going to go through and look through all my pets batter bot 730 okay Batterbot could be another choice. Let me see if I can find one more to recommend. Not Stampede because it is physical, which is kind of annoying. Um, eh, Mimic is... Ember Shed has a lot of health, but it is physical. Uh, Squally, not the best. Maybe, maybe a Cloud Creator. Okay, Cloud Creator would be okay. Um, maybe a Cloud Gobbler. Unfortunately, oh, a Cloud Gobbler. Okay. These are the two pets I'm going with. You guys saw it in real time. As for the relic, does not really matter. Don't choose a physical relic. And welcome to the Puppet Master Battle. Now, there are still a bunch of things you have to do in the battle itself. So even though you chose your pets, the, the journey is not over. You still have to focus in a lot and make sure you can actually win this battle. So here we go. Prepare yourself, wizard. Welcome to the puppet master battle itself so the puppet master has a lot of health and it does some things that are exclusive to its battle i don't want to spoil it you guys are going to see in a second but don't worry i'm going to show you guys how to navigate every single aspect of the puppet master so you can easily win the battle so starting off go ahead and use comet it's very very important you choose a wand that actually has these astral spells because that's going to do a ton of damage to the puppet master as i just showed you guys but here comes the cloud gobbler which has a lot of health it may not do the most amount of damage but like i said when it comes to the puppet master you need to prioritize health trust me i've beaten it multiple times before and using pets that have a lot of health makes it extremely easy so here comes mistember which has slightly less health but it's going to give you a little bit better spells so that's a compromise you just have to kind of make but it is actually okay so here comes the puppet master let's see and as you can see the puppet master does a lot of damage so if you have a pet with a lot of health it's gonna make it very helpful now here comes the first thing the puppet master does that makes it very annoying and that is he is going to take one of your pets now you may be tempted to choose a spell such as green gust that does damage an area attack 
that does damage to both the pet and the puppet master. But, for those of you guys who do not know, you are actually going to get this pet back. So don't attack him, don't do any damage to him. You need to only use spells that do damage to the puppet master himself. That is a very, very, very crucial part of this battle. Under no circumstance should you ever choose an area attack that's gonna damage one of the pets he takes from you. Now, it's also very important that you don't miss a single question. Maybe you can get away with maybe one, but I'm telling you, if you miss a question, it's almost impossible to beat the Puppet Master because he has so many things that he does that makes it so hard to win. As you can see, that was a crazy spell right there. He just did a bunch of damage. If I didn't have pets that had a lot of health, I bet you one of my pets would already have been taken out by now. We're gonna go ahead and use Comet. Like I said, the Puppet Master is weak to astral spells, so I would recommend choosing those spells. If you can find a pet that not only has a lot of health, but also has astral spells, it's going to be an insanely easy way to beat the Puppet Master. But continue to tick away at its damage. We are getting a little bit low in health with our pets, but you guys are going to see in a second why it is so important to have high level pets because these pets can almost get brought back to life and if you lose them earlier in the battle you do not get that benefit so here comes the puppet master and unfortunately is going to take out one of my pets which is very unfortunate but because we have another pet with a lot of health we are luckily going to get fully restored so boom there we go we're gonna get brought back completely i know we lost one of our pets but don't worry if that happens to you you can still beat the puppet master because i'm about to show you guys so here comes the all-out attack don't make the mistake of not noticing it make sure you use the all-out attack i've had a battle before where i literally didn't see the all-out attack and guess what? I think I ended up might have actually lost the battle. I don't remember for certain, but if you see the all-out attack, make sure you click it. So, as you guys can see, the Puppet Master is getting very low, 500 health. Now, you may be thinking you've had this battle in the bag, but I think he actually is able to heal up. And he also can do... Oh, there he goes. There goes his heal spell, as I was about to say. 1,500 health, but because I showed you guys to choose pets that have a lot of health, um, you actually have your pet and your wizard fully back, and you are in very, very good shape to defeat the Puppet Master. Now, here I think he may try to take one of my pets again. Does he? Oh, he doesn't. He actually just goes for my wizard. Um, is he actually going to take one of my pets? I think he is. I think he is right here, and boom, he takes the pet. Now, you may be tempted again to try to damage your pet, but please, I'm begging you, just don't do it. Resist the urge to do that. You guys are going to thank me because that could be the difference between winning and losing the Puppet Master. Believe me, you do not want to make that mistake. So don't choose an area spell like Comet. Don't choose Green Gust. Have Starbit do the damage. And let's see, 316, the Puppet Master is getting very, very low. Here comes the enemy and he fumbled that is absolutely amazing here comes the puppet master 146 and i think we may actually get our pet back and boom we get our pet back give up my shadow magic is too powerful whatever i don't care what you say using my methods we've actually destroyed you he takes the pet again doesn't bother me like i said i already told you guys don't aim for the pet just go straight for the puppet master 64 hp left we have absolutely destroyed him this is one of the best showings i have ever had against the puppet master my pet has 940 health left and i still have my wizard we have absolutely destroyed this guy here he comes the one thing about the puppet master he does a lot of spells in the row and boom as you can see he took out my wizard if we didn't have this high level pet there would be a huge chance that we actually lost this battle as you can see we only have 265 health left which means if we were to choose a different pet we probably would have actually lost this battle so final spell focus in 
don't be the person to miss on the final spell, and that as long as this doesn't miss, I would recommend you choose a spell that has aim of excellence. Don't choose one that's okay. You don't want to risk missing your final spell. And boom, just like that, Puppet Master has been defeated. You can go enjoy all of your rewards. I hope these tips were helpful. Please go down below and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.